everyone, and welcome to Letty Does Doctor Who. So in the last episode, the Doctor, Bill, and Nardle all go to Mars to investigate a God Save the Queen message that was left on the top of Mars. When Nardle goes back into the TARDIS to go get some rope, the TARDIS actually automatically teleports away, and Nardle is left on his own in the TARDIS. And in the meantime, the Doctor and Bill encounter a bunch of British people on Mars and they are living with an ice warrior who brought them back to Mars in promise of jewels and stuff. And there was no jewels, but there was an ice warrior queen who in the end made friends with the British soldiers and now they are a united force on Mars. Nardo teleports back to Mars, but not without the help of Missy, who he let out from the vault. And now she is in the TARDIS, and the Doctor is not happy. So, I'm not sure if Missy is going to go back in the vault or not. And I'm not entirely sure what this episode is going to be about. But the last one was pretty good, so high hopes for this one, and yeah, I just hope we get to see more interaction between the team, and now that Missy is on the TARDIS, I hope the Doctor doesn't send her back to the vault right away, and maybe we can see some more interaction from her. So that is what I have to look forward to this episode. Doctor Who, Series 10, Episode 10, The Eaters of Light. Let's get started. And eat you. They won't. Well, Scotland just has the nicest fairy tales for children. Oh, Doctor? Huh, that's kind of interesting. Aren't those in more color than we previously saw? Then where's the big pile of bodies? Nardle's just in his jammies like, okay. Where are we now? Let's do this shit. A live one? Or a dead one? Also, getting separated usually doesn't end well. She hears someone crying and she smiles. Okay, well, um, I don't think Bill wanted women chasing after her in that sense, but um, that escalated quickly. Doctor? Look! It's one of Odin's ravens! Well, supposed to be done. <laughs> I would know. Oh, That's oh yeah, because Bill doesn't Latin. know about the translation field. It's as if his bones are disintegrated. Oh! That's that? really weird. Complete and total. Who knows? Question is, <laughs> uh, well, that's great, is. Doctor. I don't want to be that. So let's go. Oh, they did get him out of bed to go on an adventure. That's so sad. There's nothing here. Oh, is he about to get kidnapped? I've got to get back to People the in the background always get kidnapped. I knew it. <laughs> there he goes. Yep. They always do that. You can always tell who's gonna die. Um, just depending on like what looks like what. Throw rocks at it! Great strategy. <laughs> hey, what's up? <laughs> Going to die. I'm gonna die. Oh, it's kind of like a For sake, jellyfish, where it's like stinging Could people to sticks? mobilize them. Sticks. No, it's here, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, 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 poor oh, Nardole. Yeah. Yeah, I wonder if he has like you, nightmares about popcorn? adventuring with the doctor. Um, what did you do? Throw your action figures out. Listen, Roman. We're not Roman. He's like, We're what's an action Roman figure? <laughs> if their enemies are rich. We'll oh, the thingies on their are face are the tentacles? We'll sleeves of them. Or, are they afraid of the thingy? Robbery. I don't know what's Slaughter. going 
Listen, you are all very, very happy. Nardle's like, yay, popcorn! Really your skins and allowing Nardle and I to escape from the confusion. Nardle's so concentrated on the freaking popcorn. Assume that any species they encountered <laughs> would communicate as they did. <laughs> Nardle! <laughs> He's so cute. Don't know where she is. Not the same thing at all. Come on. Yeah, we lost her. Those guys are gonna be real disappointed. And your kitty face paint. And your crazy novelty monster killing tool. Why is he making fun of her? Uh, I don't think these guys get it. <laughs> the other guy's just like, well. <laughs> I don't think it's no oh. I think it's fine. Dang, they accepted that real fast. You like men and women. <laughs> Probably because, like, high ranking. Roman officials would like only sleep with sweet, men so because they considered women too low to sleep yeah. with. We can be friends though. Yeah, uh, life. That means we're friends forever. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I can do with that. Friends forever till you die. Aww. He's just like guilt tripping her this entire time. She's right. Why are you even listening to her? No yeah, I have this whole time he's just been like helping Bill and going along plan. with what Bill said, we'll like we'll have a plan. almost immediately. All these guys would be really confused. We'll die in a hole in the ground. Some of you might die right then and there and just fall on the ground. We won't have time to bury we'll you. To drive a... oh. you do that. He has such a harsh way of teaching. Right. It's so unnecessary. <laughs> A labyrinth with a staircase. That's so true. Dumbass. It's always the one person that never listens to anyone else. Yeah, you totally did. Ah, he's so cute. What happened to you? He just sounds like children. There are exceptions. Thank you very much. Not you. <laughs> okay. Kids, Dars left. Nardle's just like, so, I just finished my popcorn. So all it took to stop a war was translation feel. Yep, that's all it took. <laughs> Nothing. So that's Nothing. why they came through, because they heard Maybe the music. Nardo likes messing with tiny animals. Huh. Well, I love how in this episode they had two solutions to both of the problems. One is that the war ended with a translation field, and the other one is that they defeated a monster with light. So... The gate has to be guarded. There's no other That's way a new human lifespan. Um, They're hilarious. You achievement. Too quickly. On the current setting. Just hit them with a spell. Bill is being very ageist when right now. Uh, no. And they'll know your name forever. Good. This is sad. Oh. Never mind. The resolution is not as easy as I thought it would be. Ooh. Wouldn't it have been better if, like, one person went in at a time. That was a weird sequence. Was it just Bill being happy or was it like, eh, that boy wasn't that bad? <laughs> that still doesn't explain why the crows are able to say doctor. Did he say the tea cloaks? Or Oh, ka, ka, stupid. <laughs> I get it. Oh shit! That's the first time we've heard that at all this series. Nardle's still wearing his pajama pants and his slippers. It's been like three days. Holding back the dark. In that vault, we don't want Missy getting any ideas. One should always try to avoid those. Hello. Are you not worried, is he? What, was she doing chores for you now? Sir, I must post- That's so cool! Is she like the ship's mechanic now? That's awesome. Do you 
relax. Don't make me go squeaky voice. Oh my gosh, I want to hear him go squeaky voice. Aww, the doctor just wants to be everyone's fucking teacher. Oh, that's kind of interesting. Or. Right. Because you're a me. woman, Missy. Yeah. <gasps> Do you think so? Ah! Aww. This is weird, though, because it doesn't feel like friendship. It's... Yeah. That. Okay. Uh, sure. Totally not awkward. Alrighty. Disposal. I promise you won't get me. <laughs> These are my disposables. This I'm next episode looks amazing. Oh, what? Ah, master. Okay, it just ended. All right, so that was a pretty good episode as well. Um, it did have some little like plot hiccups here and there, but I mostly like addressed those while I was watching it. It's pretty much just like. Well, that got resolved rather quickly, or that was easy, but I wasn't expecting the sacrifice of the barbarians and the Romans, so that was kind of interesting. Um, now that Missy's back, which I'm so totally glad she's back, like, if they had sent her back to the vault, I'd be like, man, come on, promise Missy. Now we got Missy. So it looks like she's going to be sticking around with the team from now on as kind of the TARDIS's mechanic. Um, but from the preview of the next episode, it looks like she's going to be taking over the role of the Doctor. So the Doctor wants her to be in his shoes to take over for him. That'd be really cool if she actually like does very well and decides that she wants to travel with the doctor. Can you imagine the doctor and the master as like a team, as a force, a united force, and the doctor's companion is the master? Because that'd be really freaking cool. Um, master, who we got to see in the preview, is coming up, so the Missy and the Master are going to be interacting with one another, or maybe like it's a Cyberman Master. I don't know, but it looks like Cybermen are next episode. Um, that is the beginning, or should be the beginning of the finale. So there's a lot of hype for this episode. I'm super pumped for this episode, especially since Missy is going to be playing a big part in it because the actress is amazing. Like her character is phenomenal and she looks like she's going to be really comedic and of course there's Nardole who is kind of like a, a cautiously hating like not very trusting relationship with Missy same for Bill so I hope that Missy does very well and earns both of their trust so that her and the doctor can be friends again but to me there is kind of like some weird romantic thing going on between the two of them so <laughs> I don't know, but I'm gonna be sad when the doctor isn't Peter Capaldi anymore because I think he's really, really, like, gotten a grasp of the doctor's character. He's become his own doctor and it's really, really great. So, I think that's all the thoughts I had for this episode. Like I said, super hyped for the next one. Um, let me know what you guys thought of this episode in the comments. Um, if there was anything I missed or what your thoughts are for the finale. And I will see you all in the next episode. So, bye! Hey guys! Shaggy here! Just wanted to say thank you for watching this video. And if you like what you saw, you can subscribe to my mommy's channel by clicking that circle button. Or you can watch more videos over here. And she has a Patreon set up you can find by clicking that square button down there. Imposter! You're an imposter! Oh, how can you be?